St. Patty's Day is around the corner. Did you know that river dance is meant to celebrate Irish heritage and originated among 18th and 19th century sailors? Looks like every New York neighborhood's got its own iconic dance. First the Harlem Shake and now the Bronx Wine? It's the newest, hottest dance craze. The dance itself has been popular in the Bronx for a while and involves rhythmically turning the knees in and out while dipping up and down. BB Bronx is trying to make the moves go mainstream by including them in his new video, which is named after the dance. A straight-A student and Spanish rapper, BB Bronx makes music, dances, but is also focused on his studies. New York City ballet dancer Jennifer Ringer has released a brand new book, Dancing Through It, discussing the challenges she faced as a principal dancer in the elitist world of ballet. Now a retired mom with two young children, Ringer largely reflects back on the immense pressure around her body image, including her own struggle with an eating disorder, and even the time the New York Times Review publicly criticized her weight in the Sugar Plum Fairy performance. Check out her book for her first-hand account on the world of professional ballet. Remember when it was easy to find dancing in music videos? Well, here's a video that'll make you say, hmm. It's called Hideaway by Newbie Chiesa of Canada. And with all the dancers bopping through the streets with their Madonna-like moves, I had a flashback. That said, the choreography and dancing left little for the imagination and attention span. Not one of my faves. Hey, I ain't hating, I'm just saying, we need more! Artists, I want to challenge you to stand up and demand quality dancing in your videos, because it's the right thing to do. So this week I have another video I'd like to share with you as I ask myself, what happened to Lorianne Gibson? Answer, she's aligning herself to take on the Gaga full force. Going by the name Harley these days, she released a new video, Dream Warriors, featuring Akon. Now while the dancers themselves take on a task of not outshining Miss Gibson, they execute the choreography flawlessly. Now, I can appreciate the artistic value behind any piece, but I have to admit, I was not a fan of the choreography. I wanted more. Now so far it's getting mixed reviews, so I'll let you be the judge. Last Saturday, we were celebrating dance at Celebrate Dance 2014, and my main man, Benjamin Allen, was there hanging out and talking to artistic directors and choreographers. Gotta check it out. I cultivate my show. That's what Joel said, and that's a great word. This is my home, and I invite friends to my home and sometimes they're new friends. I would like to spread the message of love as much as possible. Specifically with this piece for Celebrate Dance, um, we really wanted to bottle it up and like give it to the audience um, in a really unique way. It started with an investigation of some of the unconscious patterns that we have in our lives and relationship and work that we know are kind of getting in our way but we're not clear as to why. It's about the perception of time and how everyone's reality is really different and like the struggles that we go through and how that affects our everyday lives. A more contemporary, we did sort of big happy jazz last year, we're a little bit more contemporary, a little bit more abstract. You can expect vocals, rhythm, music, solos, I mean it's a feast. It works, it's a huge platform for so many people. Rocky! The musical is now in previews on Broadway and it's got some serious arm swinging choreography. Movement specialist and choreographer Stephen Hoggett has been the mastermind behind staging the integral knockout scenes of the show which involve highly complicated fight choreography that captures the intensity of true boxing match without any of the actors. Hoggett was a Tony nominee for his choreography for once, so we have high expectations for this new show. Okay, when I heard the song Hunter by Pharrell of his newly released album Girls, I immediately thought, staying alive. My finger went up in the air as faint echoes of the 80s era danced in my head. Now with hints of Debbie Harry's 1980s hit of Hunter, it's no wonder I got a flashback. I mean, what a production. There's a funky guitar riff, perfect for jazz choreography. Hey, it's got just enough soul for some turning and bumping and enough pop to heat the stage with some Fosse style sass. The 2014 Oscars got Everyone dancing during Pharrell's performance of Happy. He had a stellar team of backup dancers, a clan of students from Los Angeles Academy of Music from Hamilton High School. Now the students worked with choreographer Fatima Robinson to prep for the big night and they got energy up so high that stars like Lupita Nyong'o, Meryl Streep, and Amy Adams all got in on the dancing too. 
what a great opportunity for those kids. Well, guys, it's been real, it's been fun, it's been real fun. This week, get to know plugger Marcellus Barrett, who is studying dance theater at the American Musical Dramatic Academy. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll keep you in the know around the clock. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, Dance Plug has got you covered.